Voice of Girls Hope is an academic-driven children's home. It's really designed to provide kids with strong academic ability and difficult home environments with a safe place to live while they pursue a top-notch education. I came here, my mom, she passed away. So it was hard her not being there, but it has gotten better. They want to help me because they want me to get a good education. And like when I get older to show the younger girls here a good example. When I was little, I wanted to be just like my brother. My brother was in Boys Hope for five years before I came. It's just given me so many opportunities from school to playing sports to getting a job. Opportunities that wouldn't have been presented if I wasn't here. One of the most important things that's ever happened to me. Without Boys Hope Girls Hope, I wouldn't be who I am today. We want every kid to go to college, and we want every kid to graduate college, and so we provide a lot of additional activities and resources to be successful in college. The idea is to just put a lot of structure in place, a lot of support. All of our staff are here and available to them, and they know that if there is a problem, that there are people here to help them with it. If they need help with homework, that's going to be provided. Boys Hope, Girls Hope would only let you fall so far. I lived here 10 years from 2004 to 2014. Living with seven other guys, you know, there's a lot going on, but it was more fun than anything. It was like, you know, living with a bunch of brothers. Without Boys Hope Girls Hope, I wouldn't have such a great education from, you know, starting in elementary all the way up until a university, graduating from that. I wasn't going to be able to go to John Carroll University without Boys Hope Girls so they were able to support me academically. Lynn is just this great kid that everybody falls in love with. So he's the first hearing person in three generations in his family, growing up in a deaf family, not developing the, the verbal skills that traditional kids would develop. You know, it set him back academically. He overcame that through a lot of hard work. Chuck is, I would say, a father figure more than anything else. He's just always there to kind of step back by my support. He just makes sure I'm doing okay. One, he never gave up. It would have been easy for a kid who really lacked the verbal, the reading, the reading comprehension skills at an early age to, to throw the towel in. And even in his eighth, ninth grade year at Jesuit, which were really grueling academically, he relied on some of our staff who gave him you know, really good direction and it paid off at his senior judge when he was a 4 student. He's had two jobs. He does whatever's necessary to be successful. Obviously seeing him walk up the aisle at, at graduation and just the smile on his face and how excited he was that his family was there. I was proud of him that the world just got a lot bigger and the opportunities just got a lot more plentiful. He can control his own destiny and what he wants to do. Once you know, I'm financially stable, I want to definitely First thing is give back to Boys Hope. I know that if I like never joined Boys Hope Girls Hope, I wouldn't have the same kind of future. I know I have great grades and I know I'm going to get into college and I know I'm going to do great with Boys Hope Girls Hope.